Hello everybody, this is Simmons19 here, and today this is going to be a VHS West Betamax update for November 6, 2017. Let's not waste any time, let's get started. I got, we'll start with the Betamax, then the tape, VHS is. Um, this, this, the, this one, this one, this one, this one, and these ones I got from a, from the, the Canadian Food for Kids place. And these, these ones here are the ones I got from eBay. So anyways, let's get started. The first, uh, let's start with the Betamax. This first one, I believe this is a 1984 or 1985 Betamax VHS of Treasure Island on Beta. I don't know what the year this film came out. But anyways, here's the front. Here's the side. And here's the back. One of Disney's all-time best live-action films, a truly outstanding tale of which there are far too few. Leonard something from his book said that by the Disney films. Rated G and it is 87 minutes. This is the second release. There's the sticker label. This is a Canadian copy, but there's no print date. It says this, but that that's cool. I don't know the exact opening of this tape. I don't know... Uh, this might open up, open up with the 1984 B.A. Warnings, then the 1983 Neon Mickey Walt Disney Home Video logo, then the start of the film. I'm not exactly sure how this opens. And when I get my Betamax player, I'll, I'll have to see if this has the Walt Disney New promo at the end. If if I know, if, if, if this does have the Walt Disney New promo at the end, I'll put it in the annotations. So there's Treasure Island. The next one, which is, this is the 1986 VHS, 6 VHS of Sweeping Beauty. Yeah, I don't know the exact release date of this film. You always know, there's the front, here's the side, and here's the back. For Arctic composing for something crafts, mashup, and design, Sweeping Beauty is a something type story come to life said by the Denver Post. Rated G and it is 75 minutes. This is the first release. There's the sticker label, no print date. It also says that once again, this is another Canadian copy. I think for sure this doesn't have the Walt Disney and you promo at the end. But guys, I do have the VHS of this. See, there it is. Front, side, and here's the back. There's the tape. It has the Fuji 10 lid, no print date. The VHS opens with a 1986 dark red up BI warning screen, then it has the video deal announcement. The 1984 classics Walt Disney Home video logo, then it has the Boyne Abyssal logo, then the start of the film. I don't know if this one opens the same way as the VHS. Anyways, the last beta max tape, this is the 1986 VHS of Search at York with Gary Cooper. Directed by Howard Hawks. This is a 1941 film. This is a part of the Warner Home Video Hollywood Gold Collection. There's the side, the other side, the top, and there's the back. A Man of Peace, A Hero in War. Doesn't say the rating on this slipcase, but the running time is 134 minutes. But this is rated PG. Anyways, here's the sticker label, which says 129 minutes. And here's the end label. Look at that. That's cool. That's it for the Betamaxes. Now we'll move on to the DHSs. The next one I have, which is the 1998 DHS of Mary Poppins. I did get the 19, I did explain the, the details on the, on, on the 1990 VHS, which I got at the, the Rio Center on August 8th, 2017. But anyways, this is a 1964 film and it's, and it's a part of the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection series. Here's the front. This is THX certified. Here's the side. And here's the back. The critical view is Walt Disney's crowning achievement, says Leonard something of the Disney films. Rated G and it is 139 minutes. This is the first release. There's the sticker label. No print date. I don't know the exact opening previews of this one, but I do know this has the 1997 Green FBI warnings. And starting with, uh, with this copy, uh, I might do a comparison video. It has the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. The last clown show, which is, this is the 1984 VHS of Police Academy. With Steve Gutenberg, Kim Cattrall, uh, something, Bubba Smith, 
and George Wayne's. This is directed by Hope Wilson. This is a 1984 film. This is under the comedy genre front. Here's the side, and here's the back. Be a police officer, all you do is join the force. Rated R, and it is 96 minutes. As you see, there's the Big W logo embossed in the case. Here's the tape itself, which has a sticker label. And it has an N label. The N label was torn off, so I had to tape it back on. But this is also another Canadian copy. Let me tell you, this opens up with the Interpol warning, then... The this is the it opens up with the new Interpol warning instead of the old one, and then it has the 1980 Big W Warner Home Video logo. Then it has the Lad Company logo, and then the start of the film. So this might this is either a 1984 VHS or an early 1986 pressing. That's it for the clan shows. The next one I have, which is the 1987 VHS of Police Academy Two, the first assignment. Um. With Steve Gunnenberg, Bubba Smith, David Graff, Michael Winslow, uh, Bruce something, Colin Champ, Art Menogo something, I don't know, Mar Mar Marlene, Ransley, Howard Hudson, and George Waynes. Directed by Jerry Paris. This is a 1985 film. Watch out, they've got to clean up the worst crime district in the world, but that's no problem. They're the worst police force in the universe. Here's the front. This is once again under the comedy genre front. The side. The other side. Top. And the back. To protect, your, pr to, protect to serve and make you laugh, America's Funniest Cry Busters are back. Rated PG-13 and it is 87 minutes. Yeah, this is a later pressing. Here's the ink label. The print date is... You can't see it that well. It, it's the print date is February seventeenth, two thousand. This tape is a reprint, so this has the boring shield at the beginning. So if I get the earlier pressing for nineteen seven, then I'll probably get rid of this one. I don't need it. Next one, the next one, which is the nineteen eighty six VHS of Police Academy three, back in training, with um Steve Gunnenberg, Bubba Smith, David Graff, Michael Winslow, Mar uh, something. Runsley, Leslie Easterbrook, Art Minsmo, Tim something, Bubba something as Zed, and George Grins. This is directed by Jerry Paris, the same director as Police Academy 2, the first assignment. This is a 1986 film, a completely arresting comedy hit. Front. This is once again under the comedy genre. The side, the other side, top, and the back. As, op as open and shut case of non-stop laughter. Rated PG and it is 83 minutes. There's a sticker label. The end label. And I did reveal this the print date. There's only one. Which is October 15th, 1986. Look at that. It says, um, not returnable when sticker removed. And look at that, the tape is a little bit shredded there, but the tape still plays fine. The next one I got, which is also a 1987 VHS of Police Academy 4, Citizens on Patrol. With Steve Gunnenberg, Bubba Smith, Michael Winslow, David something, Tim something, Sorrowin. It just has the same cast members, but it just, you know... Uh, Bobcat Goldwet this time, but it's direct. This is directed by Jim Gregg this time. This is once again a 1987 film. Take off with the original cast and some new sibling <clears throat> something as they take to the streets in the skies to fight crime. Once again, the comedy genre front, the side, the other side, top, and the back. The game that's all for fun and fun for all. This is rated PG and it is 88 minutes. Guys, when I get the Canadian copies of these, I will get rid of the American copies. There's the sticker label, and there's two print dates. Uh, November 13th and November 12th, 1991. So printed one day apart. Nice.
The next one I have, which is the 1988 DHS of Police Academy 5, Assignment Miami Beat. With, with Bubba Smith, David Graff, Michael Winslow, Leslie Easter something, and uh, Marlon uh, something, uh, Janet Jones, Linus Kinsley, Matt Nicoy, G.W. Belly, and George Waynes, directed by Alan Mitherson this time. This is a 1988 film. Hold everything. The cadets are dropping in on Miami Beach for an all-new adventure. Comedy drama once again. Front, the side, the other side, top, and the back. Assignment Miami Beat Objective Labs. Rated PG and it is 90 minutes. And I need to tell you something about the Police Academy 2, the first assignment tape. A shout out goes to Dylan Dubo because he has the Big W Clam Show of this tape. So a shout out goes to you, Dylan Dubo, for having this this, this tape. And now, this this is a Canadian copy, as you can see. There's the sticker label and the end label. I will do the openings to these tapes soon. The next one, which is the 1989 VHS of Police Academy, uh, Police Academy 6, City Under Siege. With Bubba, with Bubba Smith, Michael Winslow, David Graff, Mom Mar something, Leslie Easter, Brooke, Lennis, Kinsley, Bruce something, Kenneth Mars, Matt McCoy and G.W. Billy and George Greens as well. Directed by Peter Bonners. This is a 1989 film. Front, the side, the other side, top, and the back. Top all the laps of the all-time number one comedy series. Rated PG and it is 84 minutes. Here's the sticker label and the end label. And guys, I will check to see what the print date is under the end label. So... Uh, when I if if I know what the print date is under the end label, I'll put it in the annotations. Next one, which is the this which is the 1995 VHS of Police Academy Mission to Moscow. I can't really see the cast members because it's covered by this sticker. This is a 1994 film. Uh, just when we thought the Cold War was over, leave it to these guys to heat 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 it up again. There's the front, the side. And there's the back. Kicking, kidding, but kicking butt ski, making you laugh ski. The academy, the the academy is back ski. Ready PT for some comics, essentially, and it is 83 minutes. This tape was a former intro. Here's the tape with the sticker label, and there's no print date. I think this is a former intro from Riverside Video and Variety. Come on. There we go. The next one, which is the 1992 VHS of Bucks Bunny's Wild World of Sports. This compilation is from 1999, I believe. This is under the children category this time. Front, the side, the other side, top, and the back. Join the Goofy Games Cartoon Stars Play. No rating, and it is 24 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label, and this has a day in your code. This is printed in the 50th day of 1992. And I'll put this in my, I'll do this in my day in your code collection. And the last one I have, which is the 1988 VHS of Bugs Bunny's Hair Raising Tales, which is my, which is the only Warner Brothers cartoon Calvary cake tape I have for now. 45 minutes of cartoon fun. Front, the side, the other side top and here's the back for some reason the barcode is supposed to be on this side not this side this that's weird that wise guy wabbit cartoons are aladdin his lamp um nightmare hair the the wind blown hair robinson something rabbit hood and a witch's tangled hair once again this is 45 minutes here's the tape with the sticker label and here's the end label for some reason the sticker label is upside down I don't know why it's just this. And that's it. That's my VHS and Betamax update for November 6, 2017. Hope you like this video. If you have any comment, uh, any questions, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I will reply. For anyways, see you, see you on my next video. Bye-bye.